Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. Well, this is my um, cat eye pearl stripe, I believe is what they called it at the time. I bought this about 15 years ago. You cannot find it now. It might have even been more than 15 years ago. Um, in any case, I thought I had done an episode on this before, but apparently I have talked about it in episodes, but I have actually never actually done an episode that is just devoted to this knife, which is odd because this is one of my favorite large toothpicks. And uh, it's uh, kind of surprising that I've never really actually uh, taken the time to go over it. Now, I think part of the reason might be because I really don't know a lot about the Cat Eye brand. But um, when I just did this video, the one on the Pearl Tusk, I mentioned this video. And uh, that's when I started looking. It's like, well, I, I want to link back to this video, uh, the link to the video on the cat eye. Well, I don't have one. So I thought this is a good time to go ahead and take a look at this knife and talk about it, tell you what my suspicions are and um, my overall view of the knife. And I'll start with my suspicion. And I think I've actually confirmed this at one point in time, and that is that Cat Eye was actually uh, distributed through Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Now, I do not know if it was a house brand of uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works or if it was a one-off thing that they did, but there were a variety of knives they did in this uh, Cat Eye box. And one of them, well, the only one I kept or the only one I purchased was this one here, which I believe they referred to as Pearl Stripe. Um, yeah, or tiger stripe or something like that and what you see in here is if you can see there see, you can definitely see it down here notice the very uh, thin segments of pearl and then the insert portions which are kind of um, elongated ovals uh, all of that is segments of pearl that have been uh, inserted into each other and then basically epoxied together and then fitted to the handle. And it's pretty cool. Now, like I said, I believe it was distributed by Smoky Mountain Knife Works or it might have been a Smoky Mountain Knife Works house brand. Um, I do believe they had at least one or two other um, lines of knives other than the Pearl. I cannot remember for the life of me what the other knives were. But the only one that I saw that was in a large toothpick was this one. And I know there were other knives other than this and the cat eye with this pearl handle. Other uh, patterns were also issued. So it was not just a toothpick. I cannot say definitively that this was a Smoky Mountain Knife Works house brand. I've tried to find out, but uh, I, I really cannot say 100%. Uh, what I can tell you is <laughs> when you look at Rough Rider toothpicks, I mean, everything about this is the same as what you see in the Rough Rider toothpicks, right down to, if we open this up and flip it over, notice where it says 440 razor sharp steel. Well, on this one, you open it up and you flip it over. And clearly it also says 440 razor sharp steel and it is laid out in the exact same fashion on the blade and as you can tell the blade has the exact same profile and everything else um, the fonts are different this is all caps does the font change on Rough Riders yes it does because now we have one where China is lowercase and the number is above it, razor sharp steel. So this looks like one of the fonts that was used by Rough Rider. This is the I brand uh, 024, which we also see on the box here. And the box is very much like the early Rough Rider boxes, uh, except with cat eye colors on there. Uh, so. Could it be a Rough Rider knife or could it be a Smoky Mountain Knife Works house brand? Yes, it could. But at the same time, if we look at the Marbles knives, the Marbles knives are also 
um, similar to the uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works or the Rough Rider knives. And marbles, while their knives are made by SMKW, marbles is not a uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works house brand. It is uh, actually owned by Winchester or the same folks that own Winchester. Uh, it's just that the Chinese made marbles are made in the Rough Rider factory. Um, and you notice, <laughs> here's another knife that is very similar. This is a Rough Rider. This was a Rough Rider. The frames are exactly the same, but the marbles, also the frames are exactly the same. Blade silhouette is the same. Everything about them is the same. But then we have this. This is a Raging Bull. And you see Raging Bull also matches this almost perfectly. And this was not made by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. However, it might have been made in the same factory as the uh, Rough Rider knives. Uh, and this one does not say anything like, you know, 440 razor sharp steel. That is the one thing that makes me believe that this is possibly a Rough Rider or a Smoky Mountain Knife Works house brand. The overall build of this thing is just amazing, though. Um, you can see there, you got the brass liners. Uh, and despite all of the various pieces of uh, pearl that have been put on there, they are all well placed. The transitions is just beautiful. And when you rub your uh, thumb over these you can feel each little bone it's not like it's awful or anything but you can feel a little bit of ridge there and it feels really cool uh, almost like you, you if you were rubbing your hand uh, across uh, snake skin or something like that that's the way it feels it's really nice and then uh, action is really good in it too I'd give the pull on the blade somewhere around uh, six or a seven blade was nice and straight I have used this a little bit. I have carried it a little bit, but to say that it has been given um, extensive pocket carry or uh, extensive use would be a lie, uh, mainly because I am concerned about the pearl because there are so many segments on here and everything. If you see right there, there is a slight little gap or a run right there that almost looks like a crack. That's where one of the white mother pearl is embedded into the other pearl. And this is a, a black lip mother of pearl, and this is gold lip mother of pearl. So you've got three different kinds of pearl going on here. But in any case, you can see the little crack there. That has been there since I bought the knife. I mean, it has not changed at all. I did not notice it um, right away, but when I did notice it, it was very early on. And it's like never changed or anything. So despite having carried the knife a few times in the pocket. And I have used it for cutting and stuff like that. Um, Quality-wise, it's right up there with uh, your best Rough Rider that you probably have. Um, I know for some people are gonna say, well, all Rough Riders are crap. Well, that's your problem. I have some excellent Rough Riders, and this is right up there with the, the best of them. Very smooth here. You do see a little bit of gapping there, but nothing dramatic. Um, just a fantastic knife and not uh, really well made and you got all that beautiful pearl in there too so but there you go there is my um uh, i i think i will call it pearl stripe i i don't know what else to call it uh but it was a pearl stripe uh toothpick i guess i could call it the i024 large toothpick my cat eye that's the most accurate description i can give for it but it's just a really cool knife. I really like the way they did the bone. I'm sorry, the uh, pearl in here. And um, the closest knives I have that match it are the um, Frost Steel Warrior Pearl Tusk, which use uh, pearl and oyster shell. But in any case, uh, this one's better. With that said, um, stick around for some slides. I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing about the uh, cat eye. I wish I had more information on it. If I ever find out if it was truly a uh, Rough Rider house brand, I will confirm that. But as it is, I can say that I am like 99.9% .9 sure that it was made in the same factory as Rough Rider knives. And I am about 95% sure that Cat Eye 
knives were produced by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That's about as close as I can get right now. Stick around for some slides. Let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at Knife Chats with the Pies. I really do appreciate it and I do appreciate any comments that you leave. So please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. Really do appreciate your time here.